so right now it's Monday, August 10th. I woke up early and finished all of my online professional development in the morning so that I could come and get my classroom. On Friday, I found out that they had given me the wrong classroom. I was supposed to be in the one next door. So I finally get to see what my actual classroom looks like. Let me show you guys. So this is my classroom. I have a blue wall now instead of an orange wall. And I don't think I'm really going to start working on doing everything since the kids aren't coming back for a couple of weeks and I really need to focus on figuring out my lesson plans in that first week of school. But this is my classroom. Um, the main difference is that, I guess, so the main difference is that I don't have individual desk. I have one over there. I just have tables. Um, so that's definitely going to change my plans as far as seating arrangements. I'm not sure if they're going to give me desk, but I think this is what I have to work with. And then I have a side table here. It looks like it used to be a, maybe a history classroom, maybe math, I'm not sure. Um, I have a podium, another front table, and then this is my teacher desk area. I also still have a little cupboard over there to put my stuff in. And then I have a chalkboard again, and this one has a whiteboard over it, so. This is what the room looks like. They said we are allowed to paint the brick walls, which these look pretty dirty, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that because that's a lot of work. But <laughs> this is what my classroom looks like. Yeah, I think it was a history classroom and an Oklahoma State fan, ew. Um, here's this back panel part. They left a bunch of these grids on there. I'm not sure if they used them to hang work, but hopefully I can keep them and do something with that. And then I think this is where all of my Chromebooks are for the kids. So this is my new classroom. Again, I still don't have a window, but I'm not really complaining. And yeah. So I tried to make it cute as much as possible, but the real problem is the plug situation. So I definitely need to buy more outlets, but this is pretty much what I'm working with right now. So I'm just going to prepare for my classes. Okay, so I added some fake vine and that little tassel thing. And when I'm on Zoom with my kids, that's what they're going to see. Um, I want to do string lights, but need to figure out the whole plug situation. But just a little something something and then some fake plants on my desk area. So I kind of wanted to see if I have enough lights to where I could turn off the main lights and still be able to see, but I don't think I do yet. So I'm going to turn this light on and see what it looks like with these lights up. Almost, but yeah, definitely need a bit more lights to be able to do that. Just a quick outlet situation on Amazon. I ordered a 10 foot long power cord. So now I have plugs closer to me. So I moved my lamp over to this side and then I have a wireless phone charging pad over here and more outlets by my desk, which is great. I got this huge roll of burlap from Hobby Lobby and knew that I wanted to put it on the walls but wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. So without a plan, I kind of just unrolled it and started stapling it to the wall using a staple gun. The stuff was super messy and I was wearing black leggings that day so it got all over my clothes and also all over the carpet but luckily a couple days later my custodians vacuumed but yeah this burlap was just very messy.
so once I actually put it on the wall, it just didn't look like what I thought. I did a poll on Instagram to see if other people thought it was cute. I ended up not caring about the poll. I didn't like it, so I took it down and ended up having another idea for how to do the burlap. So I decided to only put burlap on the bottom half and then line it with this teacher border that I got from Michaels. I did not have enough burlap to completely cover all of the walls so this saved me a lot of money from having to buy more and also I think just gave the room a different look instead of just a solid burlap wall. Okay, so I suck at vlogging and I'm whispering because the walls are very thin and there's someone next door that she's still talking to her kids. So I am going to try to keep decorating my room because today's Thursday the 17th and the kids come back on the 28th. So I'm going to try to make the walls a bit less ugly with some posters and stuff I ordered on Amazon. Right now I have my kids doing their work. Um, I have my computer up in case they need help and so I'm going to put a few things up on my walls. decal from Amazon be the reason someone smiles and then a pack of this says the same thing but a pack of different like motivational things that I'm going to put all over this wall So I'm doing the top black and the sides white. I ran out of black border and so I'm going to have to just do that part white. Really, it's probably going to bother me but it looks better to have something there than just a weird random gap. Okay, so I set up my desktop. I still have to figure that out. That's my personal laptop. I took one of those tables and I'm trying to make like a mega desk. So hopefully I get to keep these tables because they still have to give me chairs. Um, yeah, so it's kind of coming together. I definitely need more stuff for this wall. I do have to request to get desk because once the kids come back, they need to be socially distanced. So tables obviously won't work. Have lights over there, a lamp, another lamp. That table is barely hanging on and basically just this, my desk area and the front portion I need to get figured out, yeah. Broke my nail today but you know, it's okay. So yeah, the main thing that I'm focusing on now is getting my desk area organized and then also I have to get some desks before they come back. But it is slowly coming along. Okay, so I got a tape measure and tried to do the best I could to keep them six feet apart. And my room is pretty big, but it's just not mathematically possible. So this is the best I could do. 
and I only have 15 desks. So I'm going to lay some tape down so that the desks are going to stay there and the kids know where their desks needs to be. But this was the best job I could do to keep them as spread out as possible. So I just got home from school. I'm not driving right now and I'm going to close out today's vlog. Um, my classroom definitely isn't what I want it to be and over time throughout the year, I'll probably end up putting more stuff up on the walls and adding different decorations, but things just aren't the same with COVID because my school started off online and now we're going into like a hybrid type thing. And so I did spend some money on lots of other things that would have been more practical if this were a typical year, like a printer, a laminate, pens, pencils, markers, like stuff like that that we're not really able to use now because of the spread of COVID and everything is online right now. I thought I would have to buy a bookshelf and start a library. So there's definitely other things that depending on the way this school year goes may or may not be added to my classroom, but this is what it's going to look like now. Today's Monday and one week from today, some of my kids are coming back on a hybrid schedule. So yeah, things are weird. This vlog is probably all over the place and my room definitely doesn't look like a Pinterest classroom, but this vlog kind of describes the mood of being a first year teacher during COVID. So thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe for more teacher videos. I also post about curly hair, tech, lifestyle. So I would love it if you subscribe and join my channel. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.